Okay, I just want to finish these notes up really quick um, for inverse functions. Hopefully you have a good memory of this, of that this x and y switch places. Uh, one of the biggest things I want you to get from this is remembering that vertical line tests tests if a function is a function because all the x's have to be different. But the horizontal line test is what tests if the inverse is also a function. Is it one-to-one? -one? Are all the y's also different? And so um, part of the assignment today is just telling me, is the function a function? Or is the graph a function? And then is its inverse a function? So I did some of those. And then remembering how to find inverses, right? But then the extra part for Ivy Tech is um, finding the inverse of a fraction here, of a rational function. And I can't find my pen, so that's always a good thing in the tray. So um, I just want to go through this one because I'm telling you this is what you have to know how to do for this um, for this problem. So step one, we switch the x and the y. So remember that f of x is y. So if I'm switching them, then that becomes x equals 2y minus 3 over y plus 4. And then what makes this a little bit ugly is that there's a, there's a y in the numerator and the denominator. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of that fraction. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y plus 4 because that's going to cancel this part out. So then if I distribute that x, I'm going to get x times y plus 4x equals 2y minus 3. And now here's the big step, okay? We need to get our y's together. And sometimes people want to divide, but you can't divide or that's going to put a y back in the bottom. So we want to get everything with a y on one side, everything without a y on the other side. So I'm going to subtract the 2y over here, and then I'm going to subtract the 4x to the other side. And when I do that, maybe... Over here now I have xy minus 2y equals negative 3 minus 4x. And how am I going to get that y out of there? And again, sometimes people want to divide, but if you divide, you've just put the y on the other side. So remember that instead of factor, or sorry, instead of dividing it out, we want to factor it out. So I can factor that y out. And I'm almost done. The goal is to get y by itself. So that's multiplied. So I'm just going to divide by x minus 2. So I get maybe, oh, what is happening? I'm going to move over here because I don't know what's happening with my board. I want it to extend the page. I get y equals negative 3 minus 4x over x minus 2. And if you want, you can use the fancy notation for f inverse. The other thing we want to talk about is talk about the domain and the range of these functions. And I guess I should have started with that. If I go all the way back up to the top here, maybe. Um, if I wanted to find the domain of this, so think about the domain is what I can't have. So if the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 4, then my domain is everything but that. So I can say negative infinity to negative 4, skip over it negative 4 to infinity. And the range, we have to think about the horizontal asymptote. The degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator. So my horizontal asymptote would be y equals 2. So my range is going to be everything but that. So negative infinity to 2, union 2 to infinity. What should happen is the domain and range of the inverse should be the flip of that. And so look at what I can't have in the x now. I can't have 2, so now my domain is negative infinity to 2, union 2 to infinity, and my range should be what the domain was before. And look at my leading terms. Be careful because I have it written separate, but it's negative 4 over 1. Is this, do we have negative 4 over here? What do we have? Uh, what is happening to my problem? Oh yeah, negative 4, positive 2. 
So negative 4 over 1, so my range is negative infinity to negative 4, union negative 4 to infinity. So if you find the domain and range of the original problem, that should be the domain and range flipped of the inverse, okay? So what you're going to do for homework is the, uh, these problems. And so if you look at 3 and 4, there are three questions for each one, but you're just saying, is it a function? Is it a one-to-one -one function? So does it pass the vertical line test? That means it's a function. Is it a one-to-one -one function? Means does it also pass the horizontal line test? So they're really just yes and no questions. Um, and then 23 and 24 are just like the two that we just did. And notice, I want you to find the domain and the range. And it says without actually finding F inverse, but I want you to find F inverse as well. So find the inverse, do the domain and range. If the domain and range are flipped, that's kind of a clue that you did it correctly. Okay? So work on this, um, and then there is a video for Monday.